News Reel, real news, real quick. The key witness in the ongoing FBI investigation of Donald Trump's alleged mishandling of classified documents is Walt Nauta, a Navy veteran who followed Trump to Florida after serving as a valet in the White House. Nauta told investigators he moved boxes at the former president's request when the government was seeking the return of classified material from Mar-a-Lago. House Speaker Nancy Pelosi said on January 6, 2021, that she would, quote, punch then-President Trump out, unquote, if he came to the Capitol after his rally at the Ellipse that day. Pelosi said, quote, I've been waiting for this, for trespassing on the Capitol, Capitol grounds. I'm going to punch him out, and I'm going to go to jail, and I'm going to be happy, unquote. British Prime Minister Liz Truss fired Chancellor of the Exchequer, Quasi Quartang, Friday morning, as she was to announce a large-scale retreat over a package of unfunded tax cuts that rattled financial markets, causing a crisis that has threatened her political survival. Kroger Company is buying rival Albertsons companies in, 20, in a $24.6 billion deal, one of the biggest mergers in, in the history of the grocery industry in the United States. The combined company will have a 13% market share, but will still be behind Walmart, which has a 22% market share. After Ukraine's American ambassador, Andrzej Melnik, said, told him to something off, Elon Musk announced that Starlink will no longer operate in Ukraine because it is losing $20 million per month there. Starlink has been a critical component of Ukraine's defenses against Russia as the satellite system has provided the communications network in Ukraine. Twitter wrote in a court filing unsealed on Thursday that Tesla CEO Musk is under federal investigation for his conduct in a takeover bid for Twitter announced earlier this year. Musk said in April that he would purchase ownership of Twitter for $44 billion before reversing his decision three months later, prompting a lawsuit from the social media giant to force him to close the deal. Now the deal's back on. And finally, New Jersey lawmakers and Governor Phil Murphy unveiled gun legislation yesterday that touted as the nation's strongest measure concerning concealed carry and would also require people wanting to carry guns in public to carry liability insurance. The legislation would ban guns from carrying in government buildings, healthcare facilities, airports, and casinos, and violations would be a felony. And that's the way the world is. See you next time.